It's September 2021. Two brothers head out on a four-day canoeing trip in Yellowstone. No one would ever see these two alive again. After failing to return home, search and rescue teams using sonar, helicopters, and search dogs looked for them for three weeks. One brother's body was found, the other brother's wasn't. These brothers weren't your average tourists. Both were experienced outdoorsmen. One, a former Navy SEAL and park ranger. The other, also a former park ranger. Shoshone Lake added their names to the list of veteran adventurers who have perished in its dangerous waters. So, what is Shoshone Lake? Why is it so deadly? And why, despite the risks, is it still worth visiting? Shoshone is the second largest of Yellowstone's four lakes. It's unique, though, because it cannot be accessed by car. At an elevation of 7,795 feet and a depth of 205 feet, Shoshone Lake is the largest backcountry lake in the lower 48 states. It's so remote that if you're in a car, there's only one place where you can actually view it off in the distance. Shoshone Lake's remoteness creates mystique and adventure while also contributing to its deadliness. Unlike other areas of Yellowstone, where it can be as crowded as the state fair, at Shoshone Lake, it's rare to see anybody else. The downside of this is that if you're in a life-threatening situation, it's difficult for help to reach you. The most dangerous aspect of this lake is its temperature. As a high mountain lake, the water temperature usually sits somewhere at a bone-chilling 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. If you happen to capsize, you'll have about two minutes before you lose consciousness from hypothermia. Additionally, and anecdotally, Shoshone is a lake with a temper. In the morning and in the evening, the lake will be deceptively calm, tempting you to stray far from the shore. Afternoons, however, the lake gets into a terrible rage. Without warning, massive swells with white caps appear that will easily flip an unsuspecting canoe. The remoteness, frigid water, and instant storms together create a deadly synergy that has claimed the lives of many experienced adventurers. Okay, so it's a dangerous lake. Why visit? Well, remember, it's the largest backcountry lake in the lower 48 states. No other lake even comes close. Untouched by crowds and roads, nature almost completely isolated from humanity. Spectacular beauty and a calmness experienced only in rugged wilderness. Want to experience the geothermal features of Yellowstone with only you and your family? On the west end of the lake, there's actually a geyser basin with a magnificent Minuteman geyser. Love fishing? Again, largest backcountry lake. Shoshone may be the most underfished lake in the lower 48. You can easily max out on your daily limit. Shoshone can be accessed in two ways. You can hike in from the north or canoe in from the south. I've never hiked in, so I won't talk much about that. Just know it's an option. My preference is canoeing in from the south. You launch your boats from the dock on the south dock of Lewis Lake. Then you cross Lewis Lake and head up this small, incredibly beautiful river. The trip takes a few hours. I recommend reserving one of the limited campsites that dock the shore of Shoshone Lake. These campsites do need to be reserved far in advance though, since there aren't many of them. You can reserve them by... Well, actually, I'm hoping to reserve one of them sometime soon, so maybe I'll keep that to myself. Seriously though, if you can't figure out how to reserve a campsite on your own, maybe it's safer for you to avoid Shoshone. A few words of caution, I'd recommend not spending much time in the open water. Keep close to the shore so you can stop and wait out any choppy water. If you need to cross, cross at the waist. Don't forget you're in bear country, so bring bear spray and a rope you can use to tie up your food. The campsites all have horizontal logs mounted on nearby trees for this purpose. Don't forget to protect your belongings with waterproof bags. That's it for this video. Let me know if you like the format of this video and want more content like it. See you in Yellowstone.